All right, y'all, welcome back. Uh, this time we're taking a look at actually a set of two towers, uh, modded towers by Zukoix. Same person who made the Music Monkey. Uh, so shout out to them. Uh, obviously, fantastic creator. So the two we're gonna be looking at today are a combination of these two towers right here. We got the Robot Monkey, a machine designed after the Monkey Race to maximize balloon popping power. And then, what interests me about this guy is its upkeep ability. I think it's an ability. It requires life to be sacrificed to power the robot monkey. So, this thing I'm assuming by that description uh, requires lives to, uh, to work. So that's why I brought along the life farm to try with the robot monkey. Uh, this thing generates one life every round and gives more and more lives as you upgrade it. So, I'm just going to throw this guy down. I don't know what to expect. Uh, I'm guessing it's an ability. So, yeah, it's definitely an ability. So, and I'm guessing this doesn't attack until uh, you power it, right? Oh, it does attack. Oh, wait. I am very confused so okay so yeah that ability did take uh, five uh, five lives away but does it go until like cooldown is over until it starts kind of you have to activate it again yeah gotcha okay I I gotcha so yeah we're definitely gonna need the life farm for this one then uh, just kind of gonna be needing those lives which I'll throw one down. I'll start by throwing down a farm first, and then uh, we'll get we'll get to that. So I guess there is kind of a time, uh, like a uh, it's timed the ability, so you kind of have to kind of manage when you use it. Which I don't know. This thing's gonna cost a lot of lives for sure. So that's why we're pairing it with the uh, life farm. It's kind of perfect for that. So. I'll go ahead and throw one down. Uh, oh, that's a nice sprite. That's super cool. Love that. So let's go ahead and throw it just at the top. And it'll kind of just do its own thing up there. So just kind of leave that for now. And also Ben will help to give us health back with the ability it gets at level 6 or something. So, yeah. Already, this thing is taking a lot of lives away, though. So let's go ahead and upgrade this life farm. So it generates only one life per round. So more lives generates two more lives per round. So a total of three, I'm guessing. Which, I mean, I'll take that for sure. Uh, we'll just go ahead and see. Yeah, it's a total of three. So let's go ahead and throw another one down. Uh, right there, and let's go ahead and get more lives again. So, basically, every time we activate the ability, we'll be getting that same amount back at the end of the round. So, we're getting six lives back, which is great. So, yeah, we can just basically keep using that robot ability. I'm guessing the amount we have, uh, the amount of abilities we'll need to pop. So, like, tech bot would be really good with this guy. Uh, I'm going, I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna use a couple of tech bots. Uh, I should have a few. I have 16. We're good. So let's throw down another one of these health farms. I want to get like a, as many as possible since uh, I don't want to accidentally like kill my like run out of lives because I use the ability too often. So there we go. Nine lives at the end of every round, which is cool. So next, um, should we look at the tier one? Or we should wait a bit. I'll wait a bit till I get some. Or I'll throw another one down, uh, like right here, and then just to see if we get like two of the abilities. I'm guessing that's how it works. Yeah, that's how it works. So that takes away ten lives. So we're gonna have a nice little collection of health farms at the top right there, just producing us lives at the end of every round, which is always helpful so let's take a look at the tier ones 
We got powerful beams. Beams become more powerful, dealing two plus two damage. We got iron heart. The iron, the robot monkey has iron heart, needing less upkeep power. Minus one. Oh, okay, cool. And we got robo range. Gains more range. Uh, I definitely think uh, top and middle are the two best ones for that one. But we'll go for Ironheart and Robo range just to get that bottom path too. And then we should be chilling for now. So let's see now. Uh, see the more damage. We'll activate that. And instead of taking away... Er, wait. Uh, I took away minus four health. Right? Did I see that right? Or I don't know. So it's minus four each. Okay, so that makes sense since it said uh, minus one upkeep health, something like that. So we're down to minus eight rather than minus ten, which is an upgrade. I mean, it's an increase, so we'll take that. And I will definitely need a tech bot these guys since uh, abilities will be quite annoying. So I'll tech bot them right away so I'll, I'll have like a collection of tech bots up here if I can even access it I just waste a tech bot better not have just wasted a tech bot okay there we go so we'll go there and then I'll throw another one down and link it to that guy perfect that should be good for now yeah and then those just activate on their own that's perfect so for this health farm, let's take a look at the tier 2. Uh, we got even more lives. Generates 8 lives every round. Seems pretty awesome. So I guess we'll never be running out of lives then. Which is perfect. So let's get another one down here. And we'll go for top... Top and middle. Right here. Just like that. And then... Uh, we'll need a third tech bot for that guy. So already you can see these life farms going to work. Uh, giving us a lot of health. These guys cannot see camo unless there's an upgrade. Which, we'll take a look at the tier 3s like right now. So we got knockback beams. Beams knock balloons backwards on the track. Uh, we got Steel Heart. Reinforced Steel Heart now requires even less upkeep power. Sure. Uh, we got Camo Sensors. Oh, okay. Romance can now see Camo. Okay. Nice. Oh, these guys can't pop lead balloons. Okay. There. So let's see if there's an upgrade that lets us see lead. So we got Quad Shot. Robux now shoot, shoot out four beams instead of two. Artificial intelligence gains more more popping power and get every type of balloon. That's exactly what I'm looking for. There we go. And then we'll get artificial intelligence on this guy too. Right on. Uh, whoops. I wasn't supposed to do that guy as him. So I'll sell that and link that guy. There we go. That guy's our central intelligence one. And then we might as well go for the tier 3s right away. So we got Robot Rage for 11k. Uh, the robo Robot Monkey starts to be enraged at the balloons, dealing more damage in the process. Plus 20 upkeep. So I'm guessing that's really expensive, but that's an awesome sprite. It turns to orange. And we got Quad Shot. Robot Monkey now shoots 4 beams instead of 2. So, is this guy gonna, like, get rid of a lot? Yeah, 20. Oh boy, okay. But these life farms are going to work, so... It's all good for that. So, I'm really curious to see how this does against the boss. Uh, the balloon Arius. I'm curious to see how this does. So, I don't know if you'll need the tier 4s, maybe? Uh, we'll judge that based on the damage but I will go ahead and throw these guys in a jungle drums and radar scanner and an alk buff like that so the boss and I'm gonna quickly go ahead and get a more glaze back here 
Just so we don't die. So let's see the damage. What are we talking? It's pretty good. Honestly, that's not bad. Uh, I will definitely need to upgrade these guys to tier 4 before we start that. So, uh, for tier 4s, we got Robot... Sentinence. Sentinence? I never heard that word before. Sentinence? Uh, I don't know what that means. Robot Monkey has gained the ability of complex thought. Now attacks faster and deals more Moab damage, plus 5 upkeep. Uh, cool. We got Robot Rampage. The Robot Monkey becomes m even angrier at the balloons, requiring more power to feed its hatred. Plus 20 upkeep. And then we got Hexa Shot. The Robot Monkey now sees the potential in shooting 6 beams instead of 4. There we go, right on. And then... Let's get back to some more glaives. Right here. Like that. And then I will out buff this guy. There we go. So let's see the damage we're talking now. Uh, uh, that's pretty good. Oh, this guy's... this. I think this guy's doing the most damage, right? The more... The more... Angrier... But I'm dead, I think. Am I dead? Definitely dead. Wait, maybe not. Almost. So we need something else. So maybe a second. Uh, or just a Glaive Lord. There we go. That should be good for now. But quite powerful, I will say. These guys are quite strong. Dealing a lot of damage. Especially this guy, the one with the rage. Is probably the best one, if I had to say. In terms of the life farm, let's take a look at the tier 3. Uh, life factory. Crates of lives now generate 50 lives around. Okay. Awesome sprite, by the way. The pink uh, BRF, that looks amazing. So, yeah, we're really insane amount of lives now. So, I think our supply will never run out. Which is good. So, before the tier 2, uh, we're going to take a look at the tier 5s. So, uh, I got a bit more life farms. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the tier 4 for those too. So... Let's start off with uh, this guy right here. We got Deca shot. 10 greater symbol 6. So I'm guessing he shoots 10 beams rather than 6. Uh, we got Hive Mind. Towers in range of the Hive Mind gain greatly increased attack speed. Plus 10 upkeep. Awesome. And then we got Robotic Revenge. The Robot Monkey now craves revenge on the balloons... Using even more power, but dealing an insane amount of damage. Plus 55 upkeep. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now uh, we got golden lives on the life farm. What's better than normal lives? Golden lives. It's already 200 lives every single round. Let's get all of these to that. So we'll, I guess we'll never run out. We have an infinite supply of lives. So let's see this... Um, this guy, I want to see the uh, robotic revenge because it said it dealt um, like insane amount of damage. It looks insane right now, and he's not even attacking. It's this guy right here, the hive mind. But we'll see the pops on this guy just skyrocket. Oh yeah, look at this. This is this is insane. Okay, awesome. This guy doing the most damage, a robotic revenge. Ooh. Ooh, that was awesome. Okay. And let's see at the end of the round how many lives we uh we get. Because obviously these are really expensive to maintain, uh, life-wise. 
So, uh, I might need to actually go ahead and get, uh, Platinum Lives. Uh, what's- Yeah, let's go- let's just get Platinum Lives. What's better than gold? Probably Platinum Drain to 900 lives every round. Give me that. So now hopefully we'll just never run out. Right? But it's not giving the, uh, like, amount said. Uh, I got like 43 and like uh, 20 something. So maybe it's the amount of life factories we have. So I'll sell these. I'll keep the platinum. Uh, wait. There we go. I'll keep the platinum lives and I'll keep the golden lives just to see if that works a bit better. Big fish. All you can eat. Uh, no, it's still the 200. Generates 900 lives every round. Huh. I am not too sure, but uh, I don't think only two life farms will, uh... Will be enough supply of lives to keep us going, so... Especially since I forgot to mention, but this guy has a paragon, so... That thing's probably gonna... Eat up lives, so... Uh, we'll have to have a healthy supply of lows before we buy the Paragon. Hey guys, just a quick reminder to go subscribe if you haven't already. We're so close to 1k subs, and hey, maybe by the time you're watching this, we already hit 1k, which would be absolutely unreal. So, just go down and double check if you're subscribed or not. I'd really appreciate that. Enjoy the rest of the video. So, before the tier 3, we are going to get the Paragon. Uh, just wait till the round's over, but... Oh god. <laughs> so, let's take a look at this guy's paragon. It's called Robot Overlord. The most powerful machine ever created. No longer resembles the monkeys it has once tried to mimic. Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know what that means, but let's just go for it. Let's see it. Degree 17. And it doesn't have a tech bot, uh, like, thing. So I'm guessing he just automatically does it himself, but... Let's, guess, let's go ahead and see what he does. Uh, okay, so I saw, like, multiple kind of projectiles. Yes, absolutely multiple projectiles that seem to do a lot of damage does this thing take away lives though is a question but I might need to go ahead and get some more uh, these guys at the end of the track we'll pump that guy let's get the hive mind and we'll get back the uh, Deca shot right here. But let's take a look at our Paragon. It's already racked up 2 million pops. And it seems pretty powerful. Uh, definitely does seem pretty strong. I'll uh, have no problem with degree or tier 3 Blue Darius. So I'm gonna take this to tier 4 and see how this thing does, but it doesn't seem to take away any lives, so which is a plus. So let's see at degree 17 if this thing could beat tier 4 elite Blunarius. Uh, I hope that it will, to be honest. And I got the other three uh, paths back just for some back defense. So I'll throw this guy on strong for now. And he looks to be dealing pretty good. Looks to be dealing a pretty decent amount of damage. So, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Balloons are getting quite far, though. Balloons are getting far. So, I'll throw this guy on first rather than strong, just so we can deal with the balloons that come out. But this is really close. Uh, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. So 
So let's see if a perma spike will help at all with this guy. Uh, just for the balloons that leak, obviously. This is really close, and there's a lot going on on the screen. But, uh, yeah, this is really close. <laughs> I do- I don't think we're beating this, uh, yeah, I know. We weren't beating that. So, I'll go ahead and up this to degree 50. Uh, we'll see if at degree 50 this thing could do some damage. Uh, is it doing better? I can't tell, but, uh... Hmm. Huh. Looks like we are dying. Yeah, uh, not too sure how to get out of this. Maybe a quick ace will do the trick. Uh, yeah, I think we needed that ace at degree 20 just to kind of help out with that. There we go. But for the tier 5, I will up this guy to like, and I'm going to move him actually. I will say though, out of all the Mario Towers I looked at, this is definitely one unlike one I've ever seen before. This one is awesome. Actually, well they're all awesome, let's be honest. All every single modded thing is awesome. But um they, this guy's concept where you have to sacrifice lives and everything, that's super cool. I really like that. Also, this life tower was awesome too. This life farm was awesome too. A uh, tower that generates lives. It's simple, but it's it's pretty awesome. And combos really. I think these two are definitely made to be together, cause of like the sacrificing lives and then the gaining lives just makes sense. So yeah, super cool that I could show them off both. Anyways, for this last tier, we will definitely see if this guy has what it takes. I'll throw him on strong for now. And I don't think there's anything else I can do other than up him because uh, that's damage is not looking great. Let's go to 75. You can see his DPS, it's 100 thousands per second. And I think we are going to die soon. So, uh, I don't know what to get. Um. You know what? Uh, let's have some fun. Let's bring on the music monkey from last time. Uh, cross special crossover episode. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and infinite assembly. Let's do it. Uh, we'll have our degree 50 and let's get a degree 25 uh, music monkey paragon. This guy, we'll bring this guy back. I think a combination of everything we have here will be enough. So, throw this guy on strong. This is getting really close. Uh, I had to mute, move my music monkey down here. Just so, uh, like, bads and everything wouldn't get through. But, this is really close. I compare Pops, this guy has... 19 mil and then the music monkey as you saw had like two mil a uh, six mil. Oh, wow. Okay. That thing's putting in work But I think that is Tier 5 elite Blunarius in the bag And there we have it we got it. So, that was my video on the Robot Monkey and the Life Farm. Uh, if y'all enjoyed this video and want to see more of the modding series, be sure to let me know. Uh, thank you so much for the constant support y'all been showing me. really means a lot. Uh, it just makes me want to keep going. By the way, we're so close to a thousand subs. We are so close to a thousand subs. Uh, that'd be amazing if we could hit it. Anyways, uh... Mm, huge thanks to Zukoix again for the mods. He's uh, every single mod creator is awesome. Uh, so thank you for 
Thank you for the mods. <laughs> They're awesome. So, anyways, that's where I'll end it off for today. So, thanks for watching. Y'all take care. Have a great day.